Before you get started, these are the minimum specifications that your PC will need to meet. If you're uncertain if your PC meets these requirements, there is an app that you can download from the Windows Store called the Windows Mixed Reality PC Check. The first thing that you want to do once your headset is out of the box is peel the blue plastic off of the lenses. After that, remove the caps from both the USB cable and the HDMI cable, and then plug them into the HDMI port on your video card and a USB 3.0 port. After a moment, the Windows Mixed Reality application will launch. Click Get Started, and you'll see a message letting you know that you'll need to install up to 2 gigabytes of software on your computer, and that you also need to agree to Microsoft's privacy statement and terms of service. It also warns you that you'll need to use a space with plenty of room and no obstacles to reduce the risk of injury, and there's also a link to learn more. When you're ready, click I Agree. It'll do a quick check of your computer's hardware, and as long as it meets the requirements, it'll let you know that you're good to go. Keep in mind that performance may vary depending on your specific setup. In the lower right corner, click Next. Now you'll need to set up your controllers. Click Next. And you'll see a brief overview of the buttons on the controllers. When you're ready, click Next again. It'll start searching for your controllers. To pair a controller, hold the Windows button down for a couple of seconds until it turns on. And then on the underside, within the battery compartment, press and hold the sync button until the lights flash. Repeat this for the other controller, and after a few moments, you'll see both of them connect in the application. Click Next, and you'll be brought to this screen, asking you to choose a setup. If you just intend to sit or stand without moving around the room, choose the second option. And then click I'm Sure. Now you need to center your headset. Simply sit or stand at your computer and hold the headset in front of you, making sure that it's pointed at your display, and click Center. That's all there is to it. It'll ask if you want to enable keyboard dictation, Cortana, and voice commands by turning on speech recognition for your computer, as well as speech in mixed reality. If you'd rather not, click No Thanks. Otherwise, click Sure. You can always go back and change this later. After a few moments, it'll let you know that you're done. Now, I'm going to jump back a bit and go through the full room scale setup. Keep in mind that you'll need at least 5 by 7 feet of clear space. Click it, and it'll let you know that you're about to create a boundary, and to make sure that your space is clear, including above you. Click Next, and it'll ask you to start by holding your headset in front of you, pointed at the computer, and click Center. From here, you're going to need to step around your room, tracing your boundary, making sure that your headset is pointed at your PC the entire time. To get started, click Trace. Start by walking to the left, and then back, and around the perimeter of your space, ultimately ending back where you started. You can see the outline of the boundary that you've made. If for some reason you need to do it again, simply click Start Over. If you're happy with it, click Accept, and you're all set up. You can now put your headset on, and use the dial in the back to adjust the fit. If you want to use headphones, they can be plugged in along the side. If you have any other questions, you can always visit our website at www.acer.com.